Good evening, my name is Lisa Ludoff, Free Arts Board Member in this evening's event chair. First off, I want to thank you for attending this evening's event. I know if you're anything like me, your days are filled with virtual events and meetings, so we are honored that you chose to join us this evening in support of the work we do to help transform children's trauma to resilience through the arts. These transformative art programs serve children who have faced abuse, neglect, and homelessness. Tonight, we are going to highlight two of those programs, visual arts and music. You will get a chance to see how our volunteer mentors work with the children to foster trusting relationships and create opportunities for children to develop a sense of self through creative activities and artistic expression. It's just a glimpse into two of our five key programs that serve more than 7,000 children on average each year in Arizona. You will hear directly from some of our alumni who will share the impact the free arts have had on them. Free arts is supported through events like this, along with our legacy and monthly giving programs, support from other foundations, grants and corporate partnerships. So I would like to take a moment to thank this evening's sponsors. Their generous support allows this life-changing work to continue. And now I'll turn it over to Catherine and Naya, tonight's MC to kick things off. Thank you, Lisa. I am very excited to be here supporting the free arts. I first learned about free arts years ago when a friend brought it to my women's charitable group, the Sisterhood of Superwomen, and we created an art supply fundraiser. A few years later, I attended a free arts luncheon, and I was blown away by the talent and the courage of the youth who shared their stories of how free arts empowered them and changed their lives. I'm honored to be here tonight to lend my voice in support of the life-changing work that free arts provides youth here in our community. We have two artists and free arts mentors with us this evening. Frank Thompson, who co-developed the ASU Music Therapy Clinic Community Music and Wellness Program, and Linda Polinsi, a 20-year free arts volunteer and professional painter and teacher whose work lives in private collections all over the world. Tonight, they will be joined by special guests, Phoenix Mayor Kate Gallego and her son Michael, and Phoenix City Councilwoman Laura Pastor and her daughter Sophia. Assisting is Free Arts alumni Ellis and AJ. Now, most of us know that music can be healing, but let's learn a little bit more about that from professional teaching artist Frank Thompson, our alumni artist assistant Ellis, and Mayor Kate Gallego. Frank, I'm going to turn it over to you to get us started with a drumming session. Frank Thompson, a teaching artist with Free Arts of Arizona, and we're going to experience some music today with our hands and some instruments that we have that are very simple so that you can follow along, learn a little bit about drumming, and just kind of have fun. And here at Free Arts, we firmly believe in our creativity and there's no mistakes in art. So whatever you hit, however you play, it's the right note, the right beat at the right time. So I have my friend, an alumni, Ellis. Hi everyone, I'm Ellis. I'm a Free Arts alumni here at Free Arts of Arizona. And I'm here as a support with Frank to help everyone, to help teach everyone drumming and amongst other art forms here where we help to strive to teach kids the power of art and influencing personal development. Thank you, Ellis. And we also have a very special guest that we're pleased to have with us today, Mayor Gallegos. Hello, I'm Kate Gallego, Mayor of the City of Phoenix and longtime fan of free arts although first time participant, and I'm excited to have a guest artist today. My son will be learning with me. Uh, we both know that, especially after the last year, arts is such an important outlet. Kids, it's always tough to be a kid, but over the last year, there have been so many more challenges and to have an outlet where you can express yourself and have a lot of fun is worth so much. So I'm grateful to folks like Frank who are making this possible and, and thank you to Ellis as well. I've already learned they're very patient. <laughs> Great, and welcome Michael. So let's get going. Everybody repeat after me. If you say it. If you say, if you it. say it. If you say it. If you say it. You can play it. You, you can, can play, play it. it. Now I have a question for you. If you say it, can you play it? Yes. You can play it. All right, so let's everybody do a drum roll. Make it really loud and just say yay. Go. All right. And now I want you to repeat these words after me. I can. I can. I can. I can. Now I'm going to add a little bit more. I can play the rhythm. I can play the rhythm. Let's move our hands. I can play the rhythm. I can 
play the rhythm. All right, now the mayor's got a couple of sticks there. You've got your hands, and let's all hit the drum and say that at the same time. I'm gonna go one, two, here we go. Now those for you watching online, the same thing. Just use your hands, and you're gonna play I can play the rhythm. One, two, here we go. I can play the rhythm. Look at everybody and say, yeah, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. We're pretty good. One, two, let's keep it going. I can play the rhythm. Yeah, go, Michael. This is how we teach and get jamming at free arts. Just play. Yeah. Woo! Play loud. Let me hear you say it with me. I can play the rhythm. 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 Oh, faster here. I can play the rhythm. I can play the rhythm. I can. Keep going. Now everybody look at your hands and if you'll notice they're still there, they're attached to your body, nothing's falling off and it's okay. And that's the fun that we have. Now I want you to do a little drum roll. Okay, me and then you. Look at how good we are and even... All right. Little rain. Ooh. Little lightning. Little thunder. Yeah. Now, here we go. Keep going, Else. Here we go. Yep. Let's go, let's now, go. Everybody just kind of drum along as you see. Yep. Good. And those of us with the sound of my voice just kind of clap along right there, too. Yeah. And we're just working it out. Woo! Everybody shake your hands out a little bit, squeeze them in, let them out, put your thumb up. Now let's explore some of the sounds that might be on our instrument. We've got the tongue drum there, we've got these drums here, let's see what they sound like. Yeah. And you can tap them on the side, yeah, and some of them have different sounds. Now, one of the great things that we get to do is change instruments and explore. And now we're going to, you're okay there. You're okay. Yep. And let's see what happens when we take our rhythm yes, and put it on a different instrument. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get to play. Thank you. Now, we're going to have, we're going to have the mayor start us off with just a simple beat. Well, Michael's almost started us off. All right. You go. start us. Show yep. us what to do. Get a drum. All right. Do you want this one back? I don't like running. Ah, well, good. Well, here we go. Mayor, start us off with a little beat. There you go. And don't stop. Yep. Add to it. Now, we've got three of those. Make sure he gets one. There we go. Take, yep. I want you all tapping along, playing along. Show me. Here's how we express creativity at free arts. One, two, 
listen to Ellis. One, two, listen to the mare. She goes. Yes. One, two, everybody. Now everybody give a little drum roll. And now hold it there. I'm gonna switch with Ellis for a minute. Now Mayor, you and I are gonna do a little piece here. Shake them out. Okay, now I want you to do one finger. We're gonna hit it five times. How many? Five. Check it out. Yeah. Okay. Repeat after me, I'm now a drummer. I'm now a drummer. All right, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do five, then you do five. Now, after we do our five together, you're gonna to go, you're gonna clap once. Ready, we're gonna, we're gonna do five together. Yeah. Did you like that drum? Oh, yeah, do it again, because there's no mistakes in art. We like volume. Yes! Okay, we're gonna do five together, and then you're gonna clap. One, two, here we go. Yeah, one, two, here we go. Crash! One, two, here we go. Now, let's just keep playing. Part of the creativity that we do at Free Arts. It may look like it's unscripted, and it is, but we love Jenga bombs in our music. One, two, here we go! Yeah! Keep going with that, Ellis. Keep going. Ellis is going to keep going. Mayor, we're going to stop. And Mayor and I, we're going to clap. I want you to add a, add a sound, any sound you want. One, two, just our voices. Boom, and now take our hands while we use our voice and just play. One, two, here we go. Me and then you, you go. where that loud sounds comes from. Now take your hand flat right there. And that's kind of like a boom. So everybody, your hand is kind of like that. Right in the middle, let's do it together. Here we go. Now the magic word is gonna be boom. What is it? Boom. So when I say boom, we all hit it. Boom. boom. Now amazingly, it works for the other hand. Get ready, boom. Now I'm gonna say boom, boom, boom. What am I gonna say? Boom, boom, boom. boom. And we're all gonna play at the same time. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Now listen to close, I'm gonna add more boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. If you've got that, say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. One, two, let's just play. Woo! One, two, listen to Michael. Go, Michael. Keep going, keep going, keep going. One, two, here we go. I could do that. I could do that. But 
look at me now. But look, look at me now. I'm drumming. I'm drumming. I'm talking. I'm talking. At the same time. At the same, same time. time. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody drum roll and just say woo. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Remember? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Clap, clap, clap. Boom, boom, boom. Clap, clap, clap. Table, table, table. Boom, boom, boom. Clap, clap, clap. Boom, boom, boom. Table, table, table. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody, here we go. Right there. Make up your own. all hold. Now before we wrap up, everybody stretch your arms out. Good job. Drop them down. Turn your hands up and look at them and say thank you hands. Thank, thank you hands. hands. Say thank you fingers. Thank, thank you fingers. fingers. Push them out this way. Bring them back. I want everybody to just march in place the best you can. And we're going to end in about another minute. But as we're marching in place, just come back to the drum. Put your creativity into it. Woo! Nice. One, two, here we go. And Ellis, as we wrap up, Yes. Thoughts about participating with free arts? Participating with free arts, it's usually scary at the beginning. Free arts! Because we're always so loud and like, enthusiastic about everything. But as you get more into it, participating more, experiencing more about what free arts is about, what art is about, how it can change the way you see things, it becomes more and more easier. Thank you, Ellis. And Mayor. Thank you for coming with a drum lesson with us. How does it feel having your son on the drums and the vibes? I think he got all the family musical challenge. All right. Let's go. <laughs> thank you so much. It's time to go back. Thank you. Say Bye. thank you. Thanks, Frank. You're thank welcome. You, and you. Bye. Thank you, Free Arts, and thank you to everyone who makes this amazing organization possible. So wonderful. I think that Michael has a career either as a rock star or maybe a builder. Not quite sure. But that was amazing. You can feel the energy in the room. So much fun. Just wonderful programs here at Free Arts. Now, we are going to hear from some of our alumni because they're so very important. These teens participated in Free Arts programs as children and continue to remain part of the Free Arts family. Hi, my name is Nat. I'm 18 years old. Um, I identify as she, her. After I finished uh, my last program being a participant, uh, it was actually theater camp. And I don't know, I just had this like, this constant feeling of wanting to go back and do something more with the company, whether that's me still being a participant or being helpful. And I felt like helping was where my area I can like flourish and seeing the same reactions from kids who are just like me, who were in the same spot as me and kind of like seeing how their transition is going from how I was not wanting to be there not wanting to participate to like now them wanting to come every day and wanting them to be involved just as much as I am it's it's a rewarding feeling it, it makes you feel good and it it's it's good to see that you're doing something great for the community my name is Rika uh, I often go by rich the English translation and I am uh, gender fluid so I use she they pronouns the best support that free arts can give and has been giving is the unconditional positive regard from both my fellow alumni and the staff. There's nothing greater than coming to open studio hours or any event and having something to show for it and just seeing the beams and just everyone's so excited about the things that are going on in like each alumni's life. Theater camp was my first reassurance from free arts that uh, pursuing my art wasn't a waste of time and that I didn't have to sacrifice a career 
if I wanted to pursue my passion. After theater camp, I wanted to stay involved. Uh, that first alumni night after camp was the best. Seeing everyone again and just hearing how everyone has grown from that point, even if it was a few months later. Uh, it definitely gave me a sense of community. My favorite memory with Free Hearts was performing at the 2019 conference. Uh, I had performed a spoken word piece on bravery for the open mic night, and they had liked it enough to where I was commissioned to memorize it and pair it with other alumni singing. Uh, and there's something about being there, especially since it was the office of the group home that I was, gave me a sense of growth from it. To be able to be back in that same spot, but be somewhere so different uh, mentally and spiritually, it really showed me how far I'd come in just like a year. This is a section of uh, a piece that I had originally written two years ago about imposter syndrome. Channeling that Viking ancestor, collapsed on the battlefield and using bloody cursive to extol my killer's keen aim on the dark snowy ground. I earn an honorable passage into the afterlife. And with it, there's this almost childlike petulance, the desire to succeed in my own despite the naysayers. It throws a ferocity behind each word that allows me to grasp at galaxies and endure the affinities in the everything that words touch. This performance of confidence pushes me to improve. Behind this mask of a better, truer me, I am tinkering away to poem her a reality. Queen of imposters without a syndrome in sight, I trick the world into seeing the real me that is yet to be. For simply going through the motions of a smile can improve your mood. Surely there is a benefit to writing with an overflowing surety. Like telling my reflection I love her, the words and energy I put out reflect how I take things in. Maybe if I write happy, free, proud enough, maybe if I speak acceptance, forgiveness, growth enough, I'll learn to embrace life and manifest my own joy. Who knows, perhaps one day all things Empyrean will look down and think me the sky. It is so inspiring to hear directly from the alumni about what these programs have meant to them. With your support, these are the types of programs that Free Arts can deliver to children in Arizona. There is a link right at the bottom of your screen that you will see to make a donation. We encourage you to make a donation now. Next, we are going to have professional teaching artist Linda Polinsi and alumni AJ who will be leading this session. So please get out your art supplies and participate with us at home. Okay, we're and I'm a teaching artist with Free Arts of Arizona, and I'm so excited to be here leading you in an art project, which is a mandala. Now, a mandala is a sacred symbol, circular in design, and I've got Councilwoman Laura Pastor here and her daughter, Sophia, and they're going to be creating mandalas along with you. And then I also have alumni, Free Arts alumni, AJ, that will be assisting me. So. Um, the mandala is, um, in Sanskrit, mandala actually means circle or center. And so these mandalas are going to represent uh, the inner you and the world around you. I'm going to show you a few examples uh, so that you know what a mandala is. Then I'll go over the supplies that we're going to use. And then actually AJ is going to start you on the beginning um, of this lesson. So um, here is a mandala that was actually created with some free arts kids. And um, it is all about global peace. And so you can see there's hands circling around it and then hands making a peace symbol over the earth. And there's some words like harmony and kindness diversity, which we're all about at Free Arts. And then um, here's one that's all about nature and a tree with the sun around it, flowering plants, a few words, love, earth, family. And then I'm going to show you a couple um, more advanced uh, just to inspire you. Here is one that's um, all about yoga poses. And you can see this is all the cool colors. So you're going to be designing your own mandala, and you'll choose the colors that you like. So all the cool colors look great together. And you notice that this has a square on it, too. So we'll be using circular um, 
a lot of circles, but other shapes as well. And then one more, here's an African one. And so it's got an African design in the middle, surrounded by African animals. It's got a couple squares within it, and it's got the drums on the corner. So that's uh, reminding of uh, the drumming you just saw. So these are just a few examples of some of the um, mandalas, and I'm going to show you a lot more after I get you started on this. Now let's talk about supplies. You're going to be making these with just supplies you have around the house. You can use um, basic computer paper. It's nice if you have um, cardstock, which is a little sturdier. And then if you have any um, construction paper, colored paper is nice. And the colored pencils go really nice on the construction paper. Uh, we can use um, markers, colored pencils, um, watercolors if you have them at home. And then to make our circles, we're just going to be using circular shapes. So paper plates, um, small to-go containers, which you all have at home, um, even like a Gatorade cap for a small circle. We will be using rulers for the straight lines. But if you don't have a ruler, you can use the edge of the paper for a straight line, edge of a Kleenex box, or even the edge of the marker box. Whatever you have is going to work fine for this project. OK, so um, now AJ is going to get you started on the first step to creating your mandala. All right. So as Linda said, we'll be making a mandala representing the things that the things and activities that you love and enjoy. Um, I think you have my list over here somewhere. I think you stole. There it is. Sorry. <laughs> so we made start by start off by making a list of 10 things that you love right here we have mine and Linda's list we got we got some family and music and art and dogs and video games and food and the beach and music again because you can never have enough and nature and then we're going to make symbols that correlate to each of these things that you love and enjoy now we're going to work on putting those in a mandala okay so, and we've already got the councilwoman and Sophia working on their list of favorite things. But um, while you're working on yours at home, I'm going to start you off on actual creating the mandala. Now, the easiest way is to start with the large plate because that is the simplest to center on the paper. So I'm just going to, I'm going to use a marker. You go ahead and start with pencils. I'm using a marker just so you can um, see it on the camera. So you're going to start with your large circle first and get that down. And then it's easy to place the small circle in the center of the large circle. Now, the small circle is the most important part of your mandala because that represents your heart, your soul, your spirit, who you really are inside, who you go to in prayer and meditation and quiet and thought. And so this is the real you. So I want you to come up with a symbol that represents the who you really are. Could be a heart, a star, nature. It could be a tree like that one I showed you. And I'm going to show you some more examples after we do a little bit more on this mandala. So here's a bigger circle. And so the first thing I'm going to do is draw something inside to represent the, um, the thing, if you want to hand me those. And so you, too, can go ahead and draw your inner circle. And I'm going to go ahead and show you a few more examples to inspire you with yours. Now, here's one I did on, uh, again, the construction paper. And for the, the center, it's a heart surrounded by flames. And then you're going to surround that center with all the things that you love. Now, coming up with symbols, you might think that sounds hard. But these days, with emojis, we're used to seeing symbols. So just think about emojis and think about you know, how easy it would be to show, if you're into sports, a football or a baseball, right? If you're into dogs, it could be a paw print, a milk bone. Very easy to come up with symbols. And like Frank st stated with the drumming, the important thing to remember is with free arts, 
we always talk about that each one of us is completely unique. There's no other you on the whole planet. So there can't possibly be a mistake because art is just you expressing yourself. So there's no mistakes in art and however you create your mandala is perfectly fine. Now this one that I made, I surrounded my inner self with paint brushes. I'm an artist. And then I did nature. So I've got some snow-capped mountains, some sun and some clouds. And then these little faces all around here represent the children that I love to teach. And then on the corners, I've got iris, which is my favorite flower. Now here is one that's super simple. Um, it doesn't have to be complicated to be a nice mandala. This is the um, Chinese symbol for peace. And then it's surrounded by bamboo branches, which is also another symbol for peace, and then stars around the outside. Now, we all love food, right? So this one is, this mandala is based just on food. And so we've got cherries for the center, and spaghettis and meatballs around that, blueberry and blueberry pie, some crab legs, some sushi and chopsticks, um, I think this is mashed potatoes and gravy on the side. <laughs> so anything goes here. Now here's another nature-based one. Now this center is a flower with a heart in the center. The different seasons, trees on the edges. This one, to represent food, it's got silverware all around. And the center is a smiling sun. So you can make it as simple or as complicated as you want. Now, here's one um, that's got a sun with glasses on. Hey, if you wear glasses, you're going to want your uh, mandala to represent you, right? So make it personal. Make it about you. Now, this one is also about cats. And so the cats is just the little faces with whiskers. Don't even need a, a, um, eyes or a mouth. You know that these are cats just by the simple symbol that is there. And then these are mountains, or suggestion of mountains. And then we've got sports balls here, soccer, basketball, baseball, tennis. Here's one that's just some simple shapes, it's different colors. Now this one has got a dragonfly for the center. And so I wanted to. Um, add to this one to show you how you might add some different shapes. So you can see I've got little points coming out from the circle. And then I've got smaller circles. And some of them are on little sticks. Some of you, if you have a draftsman in the house, you might have something like this, which is a circle template. So it's really easy to draw circles. But you, know, you can use anything. A can, draws, uh, you can draw a nice circle with the can. I showed you these. This is a lid from a to-go container. So I might take, I've got the center on this one. I might take these circles and just put one in each corner and put a different design in there. Now, AJ, do you want to share what you're working on right there? I've got, I've got my circles down. I've got a bunch of layers. And I've got a, a radiating beating heart in the middle. I'm a loving individual, I'd like to think so. And I've got a controller next to it, because I, I love video games, and a, a music note there. And then on the circle just outside of that, I've got a clarinet playing some music, because I played clarinet for 11 years. And I've got a little record player, because old music is cool. And Sophia, would you like to share one of your symbols? Um, I did music, um, stars, because I literally like the, like, solar system and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. then I put, like, a heart and, like, sports and flowers. Excellent. And Councilwoman Laura? I did uh, a symbol of a heart for love, and then I used words instead of symbols. Uh, it was easier for me. I'm not, um... I feel like art is personal, and uh, there's no judgment in art. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I figured I could make it the way, relate to me in the way that, uh, of my heart and, and the mandala that I, I'm, I'm drawing. 
Excellent, excellent. So Very I'd like nice. to thank uh, Free Arts uh, for actually being here within our community and helping um, heal many, many peoples and really, really their soul um, and, and bridge that uh, to bring in love. And so I really appreciate the fact that I can relax right now and draw and it's helping me heal throughout uh, the stressful day that I had. So you can imagine how it heals for everyone else. So thank you. Excellent, excellent. And, and you make a great point. You know, art is so healing. Um, I've been involved with free arts for many years now and I've, I've witnessed just tremendous healing where oftentimes uh, when a child goes through something, they can't verbalize what's happened to them, but give them some markers and some, uh, a little bit of intentional direction uh, on an art project and boy, it, they just come to life and their spirit just soars through it. And so um, this is just one of many great art projects that we um, use with the children. And it's, it's just such a good reminder that, um, you know, we're all unique individuals and we all have a gift to give. And we all have a, a soul that's unique and wonderful and special. And um, I'm really, you know, so thankful that I found Free Arts and then I'm, you know, able to work with them. It's been a really, it's just a wonderful experience for me. I've seen so much healing um, in all ages, uh, from young children to teens that um, have just blossomed through uh, intentional art projects. It's just really been wonderful. What's exciting is it's freeing. It's freeing. It frees your mind, it frees your body from the stress. It actually allows you to relax and be able to draw what you're really feeling. And uh, if that's stress or if that's uh, a trauma or just the fact of you just want to get your thoughts on paper. So that's, that's the greatness of art. And, uh, and you're right, it's the spirit. It's your spirit that comes on, it, on a piece of paper and how uh, you look at yourself and draw yourself too. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to thank you once again, Free Arts. So continuing on our mandala, um, it's uh, basically a circular design, but like I said, other shapes are welcome too. So I've got these tri triangles coming out. Now I'm going to take this orange marker and just um, kind of come out with some angles and from this outer circle. And so if you two, yeah, start uh, getting some color on yours, that will be nice to show on the camera. So this just, it's um, somewhat circular, but it's got angles to it. So there's really no hard, fast rules here. It's just um, surrounding something to symbolize your spirit with all the things that you love both that you love to do and that you love uh, about your life. And so uh, something as simple as this can really um, help somebody express themselves where maybe they didn't have the voice to be able to do that before. And so um, do we, how we come in? Do you have anything else you want to share? Let me just share these um, symbols a little bit more. So here's family. You could just draw some stick people, maybe holding hands, uh, whatever size your family is. Maybe you don't have two parents and two children like this one, but do a family that represents your family. Um, music, a musical note would symbolize that. Um, you could also do maybe a guitar or a flute or like AJ did, a clarinet. And um, art, a paintbrush, you could also have... Um, a palette or uh, markers, uh, dogs, a paw print, a little face or a milk bone, I think I already mentioned that, the video game controller, food, taco, wings, pizza, all the fan favorites. Of course, if you're a vegetarian, then you could put more fruits and vegetables and maybe a little chunk of tofu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, the beach. Beautiful um, little beach here that AJ drew, uh, a little symbol of a beach. And here's a little shovel and bucket. And um, sports, whatever the ball is in the sports, or like if it's tennis, a 
A tennis racket would be cool. Um, nature, trees, flowers. We had the one that was the sun. Um, this one's got some uh, mountains to represent hiking. And then um, this one has paint brushes and the palettes with paint mm. on it, which is kind of cool. And this one has snacks in the corner, favorite snacks. So lots of possibilities here. Now, um, nature has is full of mandalas too. So let me just show you uh, a spider web, one of nature's mandalas. Or um, plants are often bursting out in a circular direction. There's also um, the Navajo sand paintings, a beautiful symbol of a mandala. So um, like I said, mandalas have been around for thousands of years. And um, here is a dream catcher, which is also uh, a Native American mandala. Isn't a labyrinth also a yeah. mandala? It's a circular, circular. maze. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you can uh, just let your imagination soar with how many different uh, ways you could create uh, a mandala that's representative of what you are about and what you love. So now what did you have in your center? A heart also. Yes. I had a heart. Heart is good. <laughs> and yeah, hearts are big. They are in the center of our body. That's true. And um, that's what pumps our blood. Mm -hmm. So keeps it going. <laughs> keeps us moving. <laughs> Here is a rather elaborate mandala that's all on nature, butterflies and flowers. And so you can find um, mandala uh, coloring books even. I think that's what this came out of. And so it's got, it's got frogs on it and dragonflies. And so that might inspire it, some of you. So speaking about mandalas and, and coloring books, uh, us at the council at times, when, especially when we're in very stressful moments, uh, we will sit. It's, it's, it's just, I'm bringing this story up because now I, I understand what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, not that I didn't, but uh, at the moment. We'll sit and we'll color as we're listening to a problem and coming up with solutions. Or we're just stressed and, and relieving our, or letting, or releasing our energy. Yes. And so uh, it, it's, it's interesting now that I'm st standing here doing this because we do have uh, books, coloring books in our office with, with pens and pencils as we sit and listen to meetings. Uh, we're able to do it. So you've experienced yes, yeah. how it distresses yes, 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 the yes. So I'm like, oh, wow. Just blending yeah. colors and, you know, just choosing uh, colors to go together. You know, all the warms or all the cools. You know, color is such an emotional thing. Mm -hmm. And we all have our favorites. And it's just um, enjoyable to just color and to create. That one's... So, Sophia, yeah. tell us what you are drawing right now on your mandala. Well, I drew my family, and then I'm drawing nature because I like to like go outside and like watch the rain and just look at flowers and stuff. Yes, nature is so calming and mm -hmm. healing, right? Mm -hmm. Now, do you have um, do you grow flowers at your home? No, but my grandma does. Oh, nice. Well, that's very good. So what do we have going on yours? So mm -hmm. here's AJ's. Got a little ring from my beach. Nice. Little waves and oh, some yeah, suns yeah. there. Mm-hmm. The setting sun. Mm-hmm. Good, good. I'm still uh, trying to create something more on here. Um, meanwhile, I will show you some more mandalas in this book. Here's one that's based on, uh, actually, this might be too shiny, so I'm going to take it out of the plastic. Here's one that's based on the ocean and fish. And you see it's got the, um, um, what are these flowers called? Lilies? No. Not lily pads. Uh, lotus, lotus, lotus flower. Okay. <laughs> Took me a minute to think of it. It's got like waves splashing. It's kind of got a little 
bit of a Japanese feel to it, and um, a lot of circles and yeah, shapes. Now here's one that is um, really kind of abstract. It's got a tree that is part person. And so, yeah, this reminds me, I did a project with some uh, teen girls with free arts. They did, uh, they drew trees like, it was called Trees Like Me. And they all drew and painted trees to represent themselves. And uh, it was a wonderful experience. And that, then uh, we took the, their individual um, paintings and turned it into a mural that's, um, they can see, it's, it's a public mural, so they can see that for the rest of their lives. So um, you're coloring away, good job. And let me talk a little bit more about um, my experiences with free arts. Um, so I've uh, mentored for many years, and also I'm a teaching artist, professional teaching artist. So um, that has really been a great experience where I can go in and get to know a group of children really well and um, guide them through to self-expression and um, help them really find their voice and heal actually through the um, art projects that we do. And so I just really wanna thank um, Laura and Sophia for coming out and helping us um, promote free arts and all the wonderful work that they do. They um, touch so many um, lives and help um, children really process their um, pain and move it into a positive light and actually heal through their creativity. And it's just been a fantastic experience. And I appreciate all of you for calling in and donating and supporting this wonderful organization so that we can keep touching um, the children in the community and um, you know especially this year was uh, so hard with so many services cut and so uh, we really need free arts in our community and we're so thankful and AJ um, has come up through free arts and as an alumni so um, in closing do you want to just talk a minute about your experience with free arts um I came to free arts when I was like 11 or 12 when I was super young and um, it was difficult at first I guess to kind of like give myself into the art per se and um, I guess just after a while it kind of grew on me kinda it really grew on me <laughs> um, and now I'm here helping out giving back doing what I can so I think it's very important to know that you have AJ alumni here volunteering and giving back to free arts. And so every dollar that you donate goes back into the community and uh, touches an inner spirit that needs to be touched and is able then to be uh, part of the community and continue with the community of free arts. Right. And, um, and lots of healing and love that co goes along with this. So mm -hmm. uh, please continue to donate. Uh, get online, we're here, we're ready, and we want to continue to uh, give back to our community. Now hold up your mandalas so oh, we can see your I work. Didn't, I start, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got some simple examples, and we hope that you'll continue to um, work on your mandala at home and just add all the things that you love and that represents um, your... Uh, inner and outer world because it's all important and um, all your thoughts and feelings and likes and dislikes they're unique to you and you matter and you are uh, just a radiating center of light so that's it for now we're out of time so thank you so much and beautiful work, all of you. Thank you so much. And you, Linda, were fabulous. It is great to know that when children in free arts programs create art, they also get to learn some history about the art that they are creating and its connection to healing like we just did with those mandalas.
Now we are going to hear from Chadwick Campbell, a Free Arts board member, on how you can support the very important work Free Arts provides for abused foster and homeless children here in our community. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for Art in Action. My name is Chadwick Campbell and I serve on the Free Arts Board of Directors. Free Arts delivers some pretty amazing programming to our community. We're passionate about mentoring and transforming trauma to resilience through the arts. All of us associated with Free Arts, my fellow board members, the incredible staff, and the amazing volunteers, we're serious about making a positive impact on the lives of the children that we serve. As you saw this evening, we also try to have some fun along the way. Free Arts is a story, an incredible one at that. It's the story of the organization itself, launched in 1993 by our founder, Margaret Beresford, surviving and growing out of the Great Recession. The strategic investment by the Bob and Renee Parsons Foundation, which put us in our new and newly renovated home here at Third Street in Camelback. It's the story of the children whose lives are improved by our weekly mentor program, or who are inspired by a real life artist in our professional artist series, and the children who are more resilient and more hopeful from participating in the free arts summer camps. It's the story of our alumni like Rika and Naya. You heard a bit of their stories this evening. My journey is also a thread in the greater story of free arts. As a volunteer, board member, and donor, it's exciting and rewarding for me to know that I've contributed to Free Arts, what it stands for, and what it does for the children in Arizona. What's your Free Arts story? Mentoring, volunteering, donating, these are all ways to shape Free Arts. Join us, start, or continue your Free Arts story tonight. You can go to freeartsaz.org right now Make a one-time gift. Sign up for our Seeds of Hope monthly giving program so you can give a little each month throughout the year. Reach out to us about our volunteer opportunities. You don't need to be an artist to volunteer. All it takes is commitment, consistency, creativity, and care. We also have a legacy giving program and corporate partnership opportunities. And here's a great aspect of the free art story. We're a qualifying foster care charitable organization. What does that mean? If you donate to Free Arts right now, you may receive a dollar for dollar refund with your tax return. If you haven't filed your 2020 taxes yet, there's still time. Thank you again to our sponsors. Their commitment and support makes this important and impactful work possible. From the staff and board of Free Arts for Abused Children of Arizona, we thank you for helping us make this story one of hope and resilience. Thank you so much, Chad. That concludes our activities for this evening. We hope that you enjoyed our time together and were able to participate from home. Now I'm going to turn it over to Alicia Campbell, our Free Arts Executive Director, to wrap things up. Thank you so much, Catherine. Hello everyone and thank you so much for participating with us tonight. This was a really unique opportunity for Free Arts to be able to showcase some of the work that we do in our programs. It's really unique to get a chance to see what happens when the kids come together from their foster care group homes or their shelters with a teaching artist supported by positive caring volunteers and alumni and what they might experience together. So we're glad that you joined us to get a little sneak peek into our programs tonight. We do have one more fun thing to do, which is everybody who registered for the event tonight got entered into a raffle to win this fabulous prize basket behind me. Um, so I'm gonna invite our alumni AJ to come up and join me. And we are going to pick the winner of our raffle. So here, let me swirl these around, AJ. Reach in there, okay. find somebody good. No peeking, no Everybody's peeking. good. <laughs> All right, you've got a good chance to win here with AJ. Oh, here we go. All right, 
What does We've it say? We've got Michael Kohlberg. Michael Kohlberg, congratulations. You will win our fabulous gift basket back here. Thank you, AJ. No problem. Thank All you. Right. So everybody, we're going to wrap up tonight. I want to give a big thanks to Catherine and Aya for hosting for us tonight. Our fabulous activities that we did here on site. Thank you to Frank and Ellis, Linda and AJ, the mayor and her son, Michael, Councilwoman Pastor and Sophia. We're so happy to have you and thank you for everyone who worked really hard to put this unique and fun activity together for us tonight. Uh, as Chad mentioned, Free Arts qualifies for a really unique tax credit. Uh, and with the governor announcing just this week that, they were, that he was extending the tax deadline, he also extended the time to make those qualifying foster care charitable organization tax credits. So we hope that you'll share a little bit of what you learned tonight about Free Arts with your communities. Um, and encourage them to take advantage of one of the really unique opportunities we have in our state to direct some of your tax dollars to the charities that you support. Thank you to uh, alumni Naya and Rika for sharing their beautiful stories and poetry on video. And we hope that you will get involved with Free Arts in the future and have the chance to interact with more fantastic children and staff and mentors and volunteers just like these guys that you've seen here tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs>